Alrighty guys, I'm doing another one. This one is the G-Shock AW-591SC-7ADR. Wow, that was a long one. Alright, usual G-Shock stuff. You got the owner manual in the back. Let's just keep it in there. And then, wow, this is nice. It's a little bit smaller face than, uh, let's say, uh, the DW6900 series, but it's nice. Now this one is a shiny, smooth band, so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. I don't think anything will stick to this. It's kind of like a, a patent leather white. That's what it looks like. Except for this part, which is the resin material, which is that smooth rubber. And then, of course, Casio, Japan. On the back, usual G-Shock stamped model number right here on the upper right-hand side. It's nice. Uh, four squared back as most of them do. This one, like the other two watches that I've reviewed, has the automatic EL light, which if you hold it at a 40 degree angle, it's off. Or if you were, if you hold it at a level, it's off. And then if you hold it at a 40 degree angle, it turns on. Let's try that. All right, it's off. And then if you hold it to your face, it turns on. It's a neat feature, I like that. That way you don't have to press the button. Um, it has kind of a dark negative background. So, I mean, out in the sun you can see it. So this is actually an analog and digital watch. It has all the usual bells and whistles, alarm, time zones, stopwatch, date, um, has the usual stuff. I just I just like it. It's the red and then the black with the white. It's pretty sick. Let's see. Let's put it on. Yeah. Looks good on the wrist. G-Shock. Gotta love it. Thanks guys for watching.